What is going on guys? Adam Chats for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel, the channel where we explore and review the camping gear that you need to be self-contained, self-reliant, and most of all comfortable camping in the outdoors without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an expensive RV. The channel that reviews the gear that's hardcore because I am decidedly softcore. Anyways, in this video, uh, in this short video, I'm going to be reviewing this video, this documentary. Um, it's really amazing. You know, if you've ever thought about going to a survival course, uh, the Pathfinder School survival courses are kind of the cream of the crop, in my opinion. I've been to some survival courses, and typically the way it works is that you go and you, you sit in a classroom maybe, or you go outside and you, you learn the techniques, and that's great. I like that. But the basic class at the Pathfinder School that's profiled in this documentary is a little bit different because it's challenge-oriented. They have what they call deliverables, which are tasks that you must complete. From the back of the box, it says, uh, Four days in a wilderness survival training documentary following 12 students through Dave Canterbury's basic Pathfinder survival course in the Appalachian jungle of Southeast Ohio. Well, I'm getting old. Instructors Dave Canterbury, Joshua Enyart, Sean Kelly, and Kevin Baxter educate and demonstrate the basics of survival training and test the students on their abilities, including knots, shelter building, fire starting, signaling for rescue, uh, navigation techniques, and first aid. Follow these 12 students through their trials and tribulations during a 100-degree heat wave as they attempt to push their limits and prove they have what it takes to survive in a wilderness emergency situation. And let me tell you, there was <laughs> there was a lot of drama and it wasn't contrived drama either. It wasn't like you know reality TV show drama. These guys were out there with a heat index of like 107. And the very first day uh, they had a guy who was basically suffering from heat exhaustion and they had to uh, build a makeshift stretcher and get him out of there and call in an ambulance to take him to ostensibly a hospital. Uh, and then while that was going on, I, if I remember correctly, there was like three other students who were exhibiting signs of heat exhaustion. And uh, uh, I think those, those guys, three of those guys tapped out. And the next day, there were one or two other guys who ended up tapping out. And then from the second to the fourth day, the remaining six went through the course and finished it. Uh, so it was, it was really an interesting thing to watch, especially if you've ever considered going to the Pathfinder School. Um, this is definitely something, this, this is, is definitely something, uh, you know, for 20 bucks, you should uh, get your hands on because I, I really think it'll be, uh, helpful to you if you are considering going to their school, because it became very obvious after watching this and it wasn't short either. It was, uh, 152 minutes. Uh, and by the end of it, you really come away with an understanding that, physical fitness and being acclimated to heat and humidity, assuming you're going to go to the school during summer months, uh, is of utmost importance. In fact, it really seems like most of the problems that the students had was from uh, basically lack of conditioning, lack of, lack of acclimatization, is that a word, uh, to the weather, and, uh, and, and also didn't quite have the, the, the physical training. Honestly, I, now I'm 50. I would I would plan on taking at least six months. For me personally, I probably want at least 12 months of training to get ready to take this basic course. Uh, that, that's how important it seems. In the opinion of a guy sitting on a couch in an air-conditioned room, uh, having not gone through their course myself, um, that's what I would want to do. Uh, anyways, highly recommended. Uh, highly recommend you check out the Pathfinder School as well as Self Reliance Outfitters. Uh, they've got a ton of really cool gear that'll help you get out. Whether you're into bushcrafting or wilderness survival, or you're just a, a guy who likes to go camping like I do, um, lots of cool stuff. And this four days uh, definitely worth the twenty dollars. A hell of a lot more educational than simply watching the latest Marvel uh, movie or TV show on Netflix. Hey, I'm Adam Katz for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel. Talk to you soon, guys.